Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons. Today, a little rhythm and lead guitar practice using Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. First, a demonstration. One, two, three, four. Let's break that down. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning the chords and the rhythm of this tune so that you can perform it as a solo performer. Okay, so the chords we're gonna be needing are A minor, at first I was afraid, I was D minor, petrified, kept thinking G major, I could never live without you, C major seven, by my side. But then I, F major 7, spent so many nights thinking B half diminished, how you done me wrong, and I grew E sus4 strong, and I learned E major how to get along. Okay, so recap, A minor, alright, that's the second fret of the D string, second fret G, and the first fret of the B string. Then to the minor 4 chord, D minor. 2nd fret of the G string, 3rd fret B, and the 1st fret of the high E string. Alright, then we had a G major with this configuration, 2 fingers on the top of the chord. 3rd fret low E string, 2nd fret A, and the 3rd fret of the B string, and the high E string. Alright, then we're going to go to C major 7, which for this tune I'm going to play with my middle finger and my index finger. 3rd fret A string, 2nd fret D string. All right, then we have the F major seven chord. All right, third fret A, third fret D, second fret G, first fret B, and the open high E string. All right, that's that seventh note of the F scale. F major seven. All right, then the coolest chord in the tune, the B half diminished chord. All right, second fret A, third fret D, second fret G, third fret B, and the open high E string gives it extra flavor. B half diminished. All right, and then finally we're gonna play E sus4 for that suspense. All right, second fret of the A string, second fret D, second fret of the G string. Strum an E to E. Then just go down to a garden variety E major chord by grabbing the first fret of the G string. All right, so A minor. D minor, G major, C major 7, F major 7, B half diminished, E sus, E. Alright, now let's get that funky rhythm down. Okay, so this strumming pattern really encompasses many of the techniques that beginner intermediate level students need to get down and that is bass and treble separation, staccato strums, that's basically when we squeeze the strings, waiting for the guitar to sound, and then relieving the pressure without losing contact with the strings. And then the other thing is muted strums. Okay, those techniques can be combined to produce this strumming pattern. All right, that's going to be bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. Now, whenever I'm learning a new strumming pattern, the first thing I do is learn how to say it. So if you can't say it, you can't play it. So let's practice. Bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. 
Okay, that pattern is over two measures. Once more, bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. And real slow, applying it to the A minor. Bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. All right, and at full speed. All right, now keep in mind that my patrons are receiving guitar profiles, which allows you to loop these sections and also manipulate the BPM, the playback speed, so that way you can practice at your own pace and gradually increase the speed as you become more proficient. Okay, now applying this to the other chords in the progression, all we need to do is change the root note. So for the D minor chord, bass is going to be on the open D string. Bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. And then the G chord is gonna get the low E string. Bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. The C major seven chord is on the A string. Bass, down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. Same thing for the F major seven chord. The B half diminish. And then for the E chords, E sus and E major, the low E string is the bass note. Bass down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, a bass down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, up. Okay, put all that together and we have A minor. Bass down, scratch up, scratch up, down, scratch up, up, down, a D minor. major, F major, half diminish, and E, okay, now let's get into a little bit of lead guitar practice as we adapt the string section from that tune into some lead guitar work. Okay, now it's time to start learning some very valuable minor soloing concepts. Before we jump in, it's gonna be very useful for you to learn how to play the A natural minor scale in the open position. So, zero on the A string, two, three, zero on the D, two, three, open G, two, open B, one, three, open high E, one, and three. All right, that gives us all the notes that we have in the key of A minor, which happen to be naturals. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then A is a whole step away. All right, the A natural minor scale. All right, so we're gonna be using those notes to create these licks. All right, getting started with line number one of four, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that began hammering on the first fret of the B string up to the third fret, then going back down to one and letting it ring with some vibrato. All right, next you're gonna play. All right, that was the G string two, one on the B, three on the high E, and then down to the F note, first fret of the E string, letting it ring. All right, so far you have. All right, next we're gonna play. All right, so that was the open high E, three on the B, down to one, then a triplet, zero, one, zero, with a hammer and a pull, then to the second fret of the G string, all right, to end that measure. All right, now we have four measures of music. That gets us to line number two of four, where we're gonna play. Okay, very catchy line there, but pretty simple to play. We're playing the open G string, then hammering zero up to two on the same string, and then back to zero. So far you have. All right, then a series of phrases that have very similar rhythm. We're gonna play. 
All right, so that was the F note, first fret of the high E. And then zero, one, zero, first with the hammer. And then to the B string, three, five, three. Again with the hammer. All right, then take that down a full step, same thing. All right, then again, the same rhythm, this time zero, one, zero. And then finish the line by playing two to four, back to two on the G string. Again with that hammer on. All right, you put that line together and we have. You put lines one and two together and it should sound like this. All right, that gets us to line three where we're gonna play. Okay, that line one more time real slow. All right, which gets you to the E major chord. Okay, so there we started off on the fifth fret of the B string, and we're gonna pair that note with the open high E. Then take it up a half step. And then from there, we're going to descend down the A natural minor scale. Let's learn this lick first without the pull-offs. It's going to be high E string one, zero, three, one, zero on the B, two, zero, three, two, zero, three, two, zero, three, one, zero. So you can see that there we're playing all of the naturals. Okay, now each of those is an eighth note in this lick. So make sure you're counting. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now adding in the pull-offs, we're gonna be pulling off on every single string except for the G string as we go to the open string. So. Making sure that I keep my pick alternating and that I'm targeting those pull-offs with downstrokes. So. All right, now we put that line together at a slow tempo, it should sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. All right, that gets us to the final measure of music where we're gonna play. All right, that was the E major chord. One and two and three and four and eighth notes with downstrokes. Then E dominant seven, grab in fret seven, six, seven. A string, D string, and G string. One and two and three and four and. Okay, put that entire solo together and it should sound like this real slow. Okay, now for a final stop today, let's learn how to play each of the chords that we have in the progression, but up here on the fretboard as we hear in the original track. This is going to be very important for you if you're planning to play this song with an ensemble. Okay, so now we're learning this A minor to D minor to G major to C major seven to F major seven to B half diminished to E sus four to E major progression up an octave. Okay, getting started with the first chord, the one chord in the key of A minor. A minor. All right, we have frets 14, 13, and 12. 
Okay, a little piece of the A minor bar chord. All right, the next chord, D minor, we can play right here. Literally just taking a D minor chord up an octave or 12 frets. All right, that's fret 14, 15, and 13. All right, next we need to find G major. There's lots of different places on the fretboard we can find that chord, but I'm gonna opt for right here in the seventh fret position. All right, fret seven, eight, seven. All right, so far you have A minor. We have D minor. And we have G major. All right, next, C major seven. We're gonna play it in this staircase configuration. All right, that's frets 10, nine, eight, and seven. Every single major seven chord in the book, root it off of the D string. Okay, on to F major seven. All right, this is a full bar chord rooted off of the A string. I've got fret eight, 10, nine, 10, and eight. Okay. You can play the full five string chord or just a piece of it. All right, so far you have A minor, D minor, G major, C major seven, and F major seven. Next, B half diminished. All right, that's frets uh, nine, 10, 10, 10. Okay, barn with that middle finger. All right, then we need two versions of the E chord. We're gonna have E sus four and E major. Okay, E sus four, we've got frets nine, nine, 10, 12, barring with the index finger. All right, then take the middle finger away and we have E major. That sums up the entire progression. See if you can do it with me. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. And then I spent so many nights thinking how you done me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get along. Okay, now add in a little bit of rhythm. Over the A minor chord, we can play. One. Okay, very simple. We can do this to all the chords. Waiting for that first beat to pass. One, and then down, down, down. Just kind of squeezing the strings so that way those tones are nice and staccato. All right, then going into the next measure, we're gonna let that bleed in, then play down, up, down, up, ending with a nice short stroke. So, one, two, three, four, and one, ba, 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 da, 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 one, to G, C, F major seven, diminish, sus, major, If you've got that, then you have a rhythm that's really good for solo performance. You've got some new lead guitar tricks, and you also have some funky rhythm that's akin to the original track. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember, if you need extra resources, you can head over to patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Enjoy your practice.